Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you all how I use my new uh, Revlon drying hairbrush. I was really interested in this for about six months. Um, I had seen someone else with it on Instagram and so I wanted to give it a try. Um, I found it during the Prime Day sale for super cheap, so I grabbed one. There's a little bit of my hair in it, but that's what happens when you brush your hair. <laughs> I'm gonna show you all how I use it and kind of give you an estimation on how much time it takes. Um, I put all my makeup on while my hair air dries for a little bit because my hair is very thick and it takes me forever to blow dry it. So that helps a little bit and then I go ahead and blow dry it. So that's what we're gonna do. It is 9.41 right now. So let's see how long it takes me. damp right here. Just try I didn't get the brush in super good. But let's see. It is 9.49. So I started at 9.41. It's pretty good. Especially considering I have super thick. It's fine, but it's super thick. Like, I have never gone... I don't think I've ever been to the hairstylist and not had them comment on how they thought I didn't have much hair, but turns out I do. <laughs> so, I'm very impressed with this brush. I feel like it does cut down on the time it takes to dry it. And if you are a person who likes to wear your hair straight, this is going to really um, almost prevent the need for a straightener. I mean, my hair is generally pretty straight but it's very like poofy and I always feel the need to straighten it if I'm gonna wear it straight but not with this I feel like it really gets it nice and like makes it look like a professional blowout my hair is a little wet still right up here I think one of the key things to use in this is um, going slow and I really want to go fast <laughs> while I do it um, but I think it the slower you or not the slower but if you go a little bit slower it has more time for the heat to blow dry it through like if you're moving it too fast it's just not really getting on it so I'm trying to learn to go a little bit slower and I think that'll go further and it will be less exhausting to blow dry my hair 
drinking my baby coffee. So let me know what you think and if you'd be interested in using this. I kind of thought it was silly, but now that I've used it, I don't think I'd go back because it's just nice to be able to do with one hand what I would normally do with both of my hands with the brush and the hair dryer. So. So let me know what you think and I will leave the link to this product down below. I'm so sorry that it's not on sale anymore or at least not on Prime Day sale. I will definitely check it out and see if it is on any kind of sale but Prime Day was pretty fantastic. I think I got it for like $25 and it's normally 50 ish I think. So maybe hold out for a sale like that, I don't know. But I definitely think it's worth the full price. Um, I just, I didn't realize that until I found it on sale and decided to go ahead and, and grab it. My, uh, I'm just now realizing my turquoise is starting to fade a little bit. That's okay though. So, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video please consider hitting the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next video. Bye!